Hey folks, uh, this lesson is a review of central angles and inscribed angles and inscribed uh, quadrilaterals in circles. Okay, don't forget all your lessons can be found at that groovy website. Let's go there real quick. So here's MrMathLog.com. This is an integrated math 2 link. So if you click that uh, and then scroll down, it's going to be loaded right down here. So a review of modules 1 and 2. All right, let's go ahead and and get started here. And that this lesson, uh, you have a, uh, if you are in our class, we're going to be giving you a handout. So I have it on here, so you'll just have to pause it and uh, get the problems. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, so find the measures of the arc or central angle that's indicated. Assume that lines which appear to be diameters are the diameters. Okay, so here's one. I don't see any diameters right there. Okay, so they want to know the measure of this arc, A, B, D, right there. Okay. All right, so remember, you guys, central angles equal their arcs. So if that's 42, that's 42. 93, 93. This is 55, that's 55. 107, okay, all that stuff. All right. And then uh, we want to know, uh, we want to get this little piece right here. We know a whole circle adds up to 360, and so we have all the parts except that part right there. Remember, we, our goal is to get A, B, D. So we need to get this little piece so we can use uh, the arc addition postulate, okay? So add those up and subtract, and we get that to be 63. So by the arc addition postulate, we go ahead and add up this 107 plus 42 plus 63, and that'll give us this blue guy right there, okay? So we get 212 degrees right there, okay? All right, uh, so this one says find the measure of arc TUR. So TUR right there, okay? Look, now there's a couple of diameters. I'm going to use this diameter right here. Okay, so, so that's 180 right there. So now we can just use the arc addition postulate. Okay, if that's 73, that's 73. And we're going to start here and go all the way around and add one, or 73 plus 180 right there. So 153 is that, uh, well, that's not right. It's going to be 253. Let me uh, switch that. My arithmetic was off when I built this. Okay. Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and uh, here's, uh, we want to find the measure of angle AFB, okay, so uh, AFB, all right, so we know um, uh, the diameters give 180, now look, if I can figure out this angle right here, these guys are vertical angles right there, so I'm going to plug it into this one, and it's going to equal that one, okay, all right, so what I'm going to do is um, uh, uh, this arc, plus this arc will give me this diameter, this semicircle right here, or 180, okay? So go ahead and combine like terms, and we get that, and add 20, and then divide by 25, we get x equals 8, okay? So since x equals 8, something disappeared, oh, that diameter, okay? Since x equals 8, and we're looking for this angle right here, AFB, it's a vertical angle at this angle. So we'll plug in x equal 8 right there, and that's going to give us our answer of uh, 41 degrees, okay? I think, anyways, okay. So, okay, name the central angle given by the arc ECF. Okay, so here's E, when well, we got to go this way, ECF. Okay, now we can't say this angle right here, angle uh, EAC, because when we say that, we always use, um, uh, it's always the angle that's less than 180. So we have to do, we got to do this whole angle all the way around to here, because they want to do ECF. So we got to do it with a couple of angles here. So that's the angle that we want. We want that whole arc. So we're looking at this whole arc. So what angle are we going to do? We're going to use the angle addition postulate and then um, add a couple of those angles together right there, okay? So uh, that, that's the best I can do on that one right there. So ECF is equal to E at angle, uh, arc ECF is equal to angle E, um, a C plus angle uh, C A F right there. Okay, so we had to combine a couple of angles right there. All right, I just saw one of those on your worksheet, something real similar to that. All right, find the measure of the indicated angle or arc. Okay, so we want to find this little angle right here. Okay, here's a, a diameter right there, so that diameter gives 100. 
uh, 80. So if we take uh, the 78 off, then we can find out that this arc right here is 102. Now this is an inscribed angle. Inscribed angles are half their intercepted arc. So we just take half of 102, we get 51. All right, so here. Okay, so what we're going to do on this guy right here is um, uh, notice that this 91 is another inscribed angle. It's half of its intercepted arc, so the intercepted arc is this guy. So when we double 91, we get 182 right there. Okay, that's for the whole arc all the way around. So if we take off that 47 right there, that's going to give us the remainder of that. So the question mark is 135 if I did my subtraction right. All right, solve for x and y. Okay, so here's a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. So if it's inscribed in a circle, then the opposite angles, this angle and this angle are supplementary. This angle and this angle are supplementary. Supplementary is 180. So we go ahead and add them up to 180 and then uh, combine like terms and then we're going to subtract off the 82 and the 15 and then we're going to divide by 7 and divide by 11 and we get uh, x equals 14 and y equals 15 right there, okay? Opposite angles of a quadrilateral that's inscribed. Inscribed means all the vertices are on the circle right there. So if it is a quadrilateral, it doesn't work for a pentagon or anything else, only quadrilaterals, and the vertices have to be on the circle. And if they are, um, uh, then they're supplementary right there, okay? All right, so here's our assignment right here, and we're going to have a worksheet. Those are the answers. So this is where you probably want to start pausing, so if you're not uh, at school today. So here's the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. You're going to pause it right here. Okay, and then here's um, uh, 5 and 6. Hopefully you're pausing. Okay, here's 7 and 8. Uh, here's 9, 10, 11, and 12. Yeah, and then... I got one, one or two more pages here. So there's uh, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then finally, I know that's not enough. We should have given you more. All right, you guys. Hope that makes sense. Take care.